Hi, I'm Isabel, one of the bioinformaticians here at Glasgow Polyomics. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform a metabolite extraction on a liquid sample. Often, the liquid will be urine, plasma, or serum, but we have also analysed milk, beer, and cell supernatants, amongst other things. The extraction protocol for all these sample types is the same. First, we need to decide how much material we need for one sample. Generally, we've found that 25 microliters of sample extracted in one milliliter of solvent provides plenty of material for most applications. In this example, I will compare two different cell medium samples. Before we start the extractions, we need to prepare our equipment. Cool the centrifuge to four degrees C. Prepare the solvent, usually chloroform, methanol, water, in a ratio of one to three to one and place in an ice bath. Samples should be defrosted on ice or at room temperature if they are frozen. Please ensure that samples are defrosted and refrozen the same number of times as repeated freeze-thaw cycles can degrade some metabolites. Now we are ready to start. Step one, take 25 microliters of each sample and add to a clean Eppendorf tube. Keep all samples on ice. Step two, prepare a pooled sample with an equal volume of all your samples. Step three, add one milliliter of extraction solvent to your samples. For the pooled sample, add solvent in a one to 40 ratio. Step four, prepare a blank sample of 200 microliters extraction solvent and process it alongside your other samples. Step five, vortex your samples for five minutes at four degrees C or one minute at room temperature. Step six, remove debris by centrifuging at 13,000 times G for three minutes and transfer the supernatant to a screw cap tube. Step seven, store at minus 80 degrees C. There are many variations on this basic protocol that you may wish to make, but please always ensure that your sample to extraction solvent ratio is the same as this is the only reliable way to normalise total metabolism content between samples. And remember, if you have any questions, just get in touch and we will be happy to discuss protocols with you.